Hi guys, welcome back to the channel, Moffis Blow Daz. Moffis Blow Caden. Alright, Aid, yesterday we did uh, the game that the NFL didn't want you to see. Yeah. Or we didn't did. want you to forget, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so this one's the, the game the NCAA... And they wanted you to forget. Doesn't, they wanted, they you, wanted you to forget. Yeah, they wanted yeah. you to forget. So yeah, wanted you to forget, yeah. Did I say didn't want you yeah. to forget? Yeah. You couldn't forget it really, could you? No. Refereeing decisions like that, it's bad. Especially when we're reacting to it, reminding everyone about it. I know, <laughs> I know. Well, it triggered me a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's, like, it's, don't like this is, is this going to be the same, like bad officiating again? Don't know. This is the game, the NCA. Someone requested it on the... Basketball. Uh, someone, said, someone said, if you've seen this, you need to do this. It's college football. This is college football, yeah. okay. So I think it's, I think it's uh, Georgia against Florida, I think. Or Miami against Florida. Something like that, anyway. Florida? I didn't quite see. Mm. Yeah. So um, someone requested it in the comments. Yeah. So thanks for that. Not yeah. seen anything on it. I've just lined it up and I'm pretty straight to the beginning, so I don't yeah. know what it's all about. But I'm assuming it's so. In his comments, I think he put, "Can you watch this? It's two teams." Yeah. And I want to save Miami v Florida. Okay, we'll find so, out anyway. anyway. Again, the NCAA, the NCAA wants you to forget. Let's go. The officials have the toughest task of all. I don't know how you assess any penalties here. You know, I say, why don't they just meet outside in the tunnel after the ball game and get it on some more? On this fateful day in 2006, one of college football's most infamous moments would occur. In a game that featured the University of Miami and FIU, what took place was so outrageous and disgraceful, the aftermath, which would be devastating. Who's FIU then? Is it Florida? Well, I, th I know there's Florida Gators, isn't there? And there's Florida State. There's, that's none of them. FIU. Yeah, Florida International University. Florida International University. Mm. Devastating included 31 suspensions. Now, Let's let me that. give you some context. Yeah. Florida International University, located in Miami. Today, the Panthers get Big Brother to the east, the University of Miami, located in Coral Gables. Miami and FIU's campus are only nine miles apart. Oh. So to say that these kids were familiar with each other yeah. would be an understatement. They were probably going to the same parties. Some of them probably hung out. But at the end of the day, Miami is a private university. Plus, they're a way better football program. That would mean that all the better high school football players in the area went to Miami, while the lesser players who didn't get recruited to Miami probably went to FIU. This already had a recipe for animosity. It also doesn't help that Miami had developed a reputation as being, let's call it, undisciplined. Now put these two schools on the field against one another, you're just begging for something to go down. Now we got a little seven going on, a little frustration. These two teams have been chippy the entire game. Well after plays, players from FIU oh, were still boy. going at it. Miami would score their second touchdown of the game, where he would then wave to the FIU sideline, then take a bow, which would later be flagged for an excessive celebration penalty. This seemed to have put the FIU players over the edge, because more than 30 seconds after the play- It's not really an excessive celebration, that I Not really, no. It was it's a bit of a minor. Yeah, yeah. I would have thought. I'm going to have to go back to when I was in Miami. Um, I was staying in Bal Harbor in Miami. You were with us. Right. We were staying for Christmas, and it was the, um, I think it was called the Orange Bowl. I don't know if this is the orange bowl, but it's the orange bowl that was down there. And so we got in the elevator to go back up to our room or go to a room, and all the team well, not all of them, but a few of the lads got in. Piled into the same Massive. Elevator. Wow, yeah, I'm just yeah, yeah. on that. Right. Been to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> it was over. Dudes were still jawing at one another. The tension between FIU and Miami had been building the entire game. Inevitably, it was going to snap. John Petty's extra point is up and good, and uh, another melee on the field. This one is getting out of hand. Flags all over the place. And, uh, Boy. Okay. This is ugly. Very, very ugly. After 50 seconds of pure chaos, state troopers and FIU police had to come on the field to restore order. 
After the teams finally began separating towards their own sidelines, the referees huddled up to discuss how they were going to penalize this brawl. It took them nearly 15 minutes to Jeez. come up with an answer. That had to be the longest 15 minutes of all time. During that break in the action, Miami was seen celebrating and chanting, with fans proud of what had just gone down, and other fans fighting in the crowd, eventually to be stopped by the local police. But that's not even the worst part. Listen to what the other commentator during this broadcast had to say following the fight. Now the uh, Metro Dade police trying to restore order. Now that's what I'm talking about. You come into our house, you should get your behind kicked. You don't come in the OB playing that stuff. You're across, you're across the ocean over there. You're across the city. You can't come over to our place talking noise like that. You get your butt beat. I was about to go down the elevator and get in that thing. Do you assess any penalties here? You know, that was an awkward laugh by the other commentator, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. It's like he almost just didn't agree with what he was, he was saying. He was going on and he must have thought he's saying too much and he just yeah. went, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. I say, why don't they just meet outside in the tunnel after the ball game and get it on some more? So this commentator, Lamar Thomas, was a former player for the Hurricanes back in the early 90s. Lamar was one of the program's best receivers ever, but he wasn't exactly the greatest guy in the world. In 1996, he was charged with aggravated battery after beating his pregnant fiance, Lamar pled no contest and served jail time. Then he allegedly beat her again in 1997. He probably never deserved to be in that booth in the first place. Because of those comments he made during that game, Lamar Thomas was immediately fired. When the broadcast re-aired, they had cut those comments he made. Like I said in the beginning, 31 players would be suspended, 13 from Miami and 18 from FIU. Most of these guys served one game suspensions. Number 26 for FIU, Chris Smith, was thrown off the team for this. And number 24 on FIU, McDuffie, was also thrown off the team for kicking that dude in the head. Number 26 on Miami, Anthony Reddick, pulled the most notorious move of all. It's what you all know now as the Miles Garrett move. He would be suspended indefinitely, but that indefinite suspension lasted only four games. The punishment overall was extremely light. This would anger many. An ESPN writer called Miami's one game suspensions a soothing caress and manicure. Now check out this photo. This picture of FIU player Ahmad Ned on crutches became infamous. It had kind of turned into a meme before memes were a big deal. But for FIU, they would continue to fall into the depths of despair. They finished the season 0-12, their coach resigned, and they would go on to lose 23 straight. For Miami, they would finish with their worst record in just about a decade. The legendary dynasty of the U was old news. Head coach Larry Coker had made a complete fool of himself. This dude had the balls to say this after the game, quote, I think it'll affect the image of our program greatly, but in a positive way. I think that when they see the video and they see how it was handled, they will be impressed with our players. You know what we'd be saying right now? We ready, we ready. We ready. We've had a down couple years, but you don't come in here talking smack. Now, now, how? Jesus. I think that, uh, that commentator rightly so got fired. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not one of these for the Wolves, but you shouldn't, they shouldn't have been saying things like that commentating. Yeah, just keep exactly. it neutral. Commentary is meant to be neutral yeah, as well. Just yeah. keep it, I know you've got your, your, your side that you you know you used to play for him and you're giving it the bigger. But you wouldn't like, start you're passionate about he's it. He's like encouraging so, yeah, it. Yeah, he's telling you to take it outside and you know, on, on air, live on air. Yeah. Mm, don't do that. I'm just thinking, when we, went, when we went to Miami and the Orange Bowl was on, you were only a little kid and we were still living in New Jersey at the time, so it would have been around about 2000... Five, that was two thousand six. Six, I know. So it would have been right just before the bar. I remember the team played in orange. I think when they got in the uh, elevator, they all had orange on. Probably Miami then, right? Is that Miami who played? Was that, I thought that was Ma red. Miami was, was playing picture. orange though, wasn't it? Yeah. Weren't they? I wonder if it was that year. I'm gonna have to go through the photos and find Imagine out. That. Probably. Imagine not, if it was right. that year, then they were all. I don't know, a bunch <laughs> of the guys got in the elevator, sort of thing. They were all staying in the same hotel. Yeah. Yeah. Was this before or after the game? 
that was uh, this was before the game. Yeah, it was. It might have been the day before the game. I think it was the Saturday. Yeah, and the bowl was on been, Sunday or something like that. that. It could have been the, the game. That'd have been weird, wouldn't it? Yeah, I have to find out the years because you were little. Yeah, I got for some reason I think it might be two thousand five. I was born in two thousand three. Yeah, so I think it was two thousand five, Christmas two thousand five, sort of like that yeah. time. Just missed it. I'm pretty sure it was December two. We're all staying on to the next year. And I'm sure they said they're playing in the Orange Bowl when I was talking to yeah. them. Yeah. So I've just got got to get me. But at the same time, didn't that they didn't that say that that was their first ever meeting? I don't know, don't know. But it was. Uh, I just remember him getting in the elevator. But that was. Uh, it wouldn't it be funny if it was the same time, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I was tricking him. What are you going to do tomorrow? <laughs> Show him who's boss. Ben, remember to <laughs> take outside. Though. Meet him outside. Yeah. yeah <laughs> They're coming enough. into your backyard. Yeah. <laughs> You've got to kick their butt. <laughs> <laughs> How funny would that be? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so you know that's all. But you didn't. You didn't actually know what happened until now. Until now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.